So guys, today back for another video on the channel today. We're here for the new Cast United vs Watford predicted team. If you didn't watch the preview already, make sure to go and watch it. It's out on the channel now. There'll be a link in the description, the end screen, whatnot. So make sure to go and watch that. But anyways, in the video today, we'll look at my predicted team. I've read what Steve Bruce has said, and it's it's good to say the players who uh, who are a bit injured for the City game should be back for the Watford game tomorrow. Leave a like lads, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're trying to hit 10k as soon as possible. We're about 7.5 now. We want to be getting to 8k, then 9, then 10k. We want to be trying to get in 10k by the end of the year. It's a massive goal what I've set myself, but with the vlogs hopefully going to come back eventually. That's when I saw I think this channel's going to grow and it would mean that if you could watch if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed please do so so this is my predicted team for their game versus Watford changes have been made from City which is good uh, we've got to be 5-0 and this is the team that I think will play for the game Ingold Bravka right back Javier Mankiw will come back in for Yedlin left back Danny Rose who had a decent game against Man City considering we conceded 5 goals I thought he'd done our best outfield player centre backs Fernandez and Lascelles we miss a leader we miss a leader when Lascelles isn't in. Shelby's a fantastic player, but he's not a captain. He's not a leader. Lascelles is a leader, and we do need him in the team. It's great to see him back. With Fernandez, obviously scored that own goal, but it, it's it was a it was a very dodgy deflection. It should have been given to Richie anyways, but. Uh, it's slightly deflected off him, so it wasn't really Fernandez's fault. In the midfield, I've. Uh, Took Bentaleb out, he was shocking against Manchester City and we have to play Matty Longstaff, I don't care if he's had a contract or not, we've got to play the lad, right, because if one performance, he scores a goal, that can change his whole mood on Newcastle United and make him want to stay, so for me, you play Matty Longstaff with John Joe Shelby, obviously, I don't think Hayden or Sean Longstaff will be fit for the game, the attacking, uh, we've missed Matt Ritchie, which I haven't seen in a long time, but I think Matt Ritchie will play. Uh, Maxim Mann on the left, Albaron in the calm, Joe Linton up top, no Dwight Gale. I think a fresh start for Muto would be nice, but I don't. I can't see Steve Bruce, maybe he's not even putting him on the bench. But I, I want to see Yoshinori Muto in the squad playing, but I don't know if that will happen or not, considering Steve Bruce has only shot him three times this season. But... I mean, what's the lad done wrong? What's the lad done wrong to not get a game? It's pretty stupid from Steve Bruce to not play the lad. We're, we're, we're surviving the Premier League. Try something new. Try some players like Muto, who hasn't had a chance this season, who we know is not a bad player. Like, we're striking rules, probably the worst position we've got on the squad. We need other players playing. But I wouldn't say Muto play, but I don't know if he will. Hopefully he does, but I can see Joel Linton starting. That's the end of the video, lads. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know your team in the comment section down below. Do you agree with mine? Where will you make the changes? Lads, I'll say it's all for the game tomorrow. How are the lads? Oh.